the most fascinating part was actually the start. We had, we had all really secretly imagined and drawn this car design before. Of course, we didn't know the exact dimensions, but, but we did know one thing, that this would have to become a Porsche automobile. And now, the, the fascinating thing is that the design has to be reinterpreted again and again, without losing sight of what makes it typically Porsche. And that's the way it was. The 356, the very first Porsche, had, had certain hidden themes that came to typify the Porsche design. And I wanted to, I wanted to be in that studio because I knew there were some new things going to be happening. When you think of something new, there's a tendency to lose the old. At Porsche, it's a bit different. Everything is new from the bottom up but it carries on the tradition of a rich sporting and racing history, that of one of purity and timelessness. When we finally, when we finally got the go-ahead to do it, um, it, was, it, was, it was a car that everybody wanted. Every designer in the studio had this car in their mind. And one of that, of, uh, of a certain, uh, sort of like a logical, it was like a logical step, it was a logical car for Porsche to build. It was a chance in a lifetime for me, and I was really, I was really enthusiastic about it. And it's not, uh, I was one of the lucky ones to become a car designer. The childhood dream and have the opportunity to work on the new Boxster. the best technology available. What you might call the feeling doesn't turn up again until you get into a car like that and drive it again for the first time. The first run on the engine test stand, ending up with series production. Those are the highlights as far as emotions are concerned. Otherwise, we're probably more likely to be cool analysts and workers. As soon as we had the first outline for the Boxster, we installed the engines in the 911 body. At the time, all of us just didn't have that Boxster feeling yet. That didn't get started until we did the first winter trials in Sweden and summer testing in the US and high-speed testing in Nato in southern Italy. At some point then, I had the right feeling about the Boxster. And I said to myself, man, this is it. that we're able to keep making products that are a little faster, a little more beautiful, and a little more interesting. factory running up to date as far as development times were concerned and I think we really made it 
We're going to achieve a level of quality with this car that Porsche has never seen before. All the processes are state of the art. So we're certain that the customers will find this gorgeous car convincing. When I came to Porsche, I was back in 1970 with my Super 90. I was really excited about the 911. You see, for me, the 911 is like a myth, just like the Boxster is sure to be in the future. It, it embodies the Porsche line in every detail, and you can see how much the people who worked on it, well, they were interested in every detail. And I'm just really enthusiastic about it. Yeah, you know, I reckon you just have to love it. What we have created is a boxer design in its own right, with a design of its very own, driving characteristics of its own, its own character and emotions. It was developed by our engineers, built by the employees who also built the 911 and put it on the road. I think we'll teach the others a thing or two with our worldwide sales organization. We're completely confident that the Boxster will develop a life of its own, a very long life. It's a Porsche. I've decided we're going to build it. Somebody had to say that. <laughs>